All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Might get in a little bit of trouble, but there's the bell. There's that. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere, I tell you. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Ray, with Kickstands Up 909. I was sitting at home today, kind of got bored, and I was just like, eh, let's get out of the house. And I remember that my buddy Gary told me about a train museum up in uh, Barstow. So I'm like, eh, I'll head up there, check it out. And halfway up here, I was like, wait a minute, he told me about a McDonald's that has a train, like, right by the McDonald's. I'm not sure much about it, but I'm like, I'll stop there too. So I just got here. As you can see, there's like two little train cars over there. So yeah, I'm gonna go jump in there, see what it's all about, and uh, take you guys along with me, so, yeah. Mm. Mm. Looks like they're trying to make it feel like you're in a um, train. Pretty cool, yeah. Quick stop. They actually got a lot of shopping stores and stuff inside. There's a subway and a lot of other stuff. Kind of reminds me of like a truck stop theme where they have a bunch of stuff in one location. And yeah, this is off of the 15 and Main Street up in Barstow. I'm gonna finish up my food and then go to the museum after this. There's a little bit better view of the train up close for you guys. It's pretty cool, right? get to sit in there and eat that's pretty awesome that's pretty dope I like it the old service store and all that that's pretty cool mm. Hello. I wonder if this is how they were actually hooked up like you know like is this the actual part of the train or? I don't know. <clears throat> Crossway. I don't think they have the tracks on them anymore. But yeah, it'd definitely be cool. Go check out. Alright, well I'm going on to my next spot. I'm going on to the tra train museum. It's just like a few miles from here, so let's get after a game.
Well guys, I just made it. Just got over here to the Railroad Museum in Barstow. And uh, there's actually a lot of cool stuff outside. I'm not sure if you're supposed to check in first or if you can just go and explore this stuff. So look at all the cool things I got out here. So I'm just gonna walk around and take a look at them. Oh, I see other people doing it, so you know what, I'm gonna do it. This is an emergency stop. Emergency stop this. All right, let's do this, guys. Ugh, come on, come on, Ray, you're not that old. All right. <laughs> yeah. Check that out. Wonder if these still open. <gasps> no. Fuck. I'm not gonna do that. Maybe I should start it up. What do you guys think? Just keep rolling. Dude, I didn't realize it, but like, you're you're pretty high up like this. All right, let's keep cruising. Right, I see one open already. Let's just uh, take a glimpse. Whoa! Look at all that. Oh. <laughs> That's intense right there. All right. Let's see if this is, I don't know, I might get kicked out in a minute. Well, I thought it would open up, but it won't. But check it out the inside, guys. How cool is that? Here's a better view of the whole yard. There's some other cool, like, other machinery down there. I'm gonna go check out. Yeah, let's keep rolling. Now, I saw a lot of these trains when I was growing up. These ones right here. These big, massive yellow ones. And check that out. Look how heavy duty, like, everything is. All thick and just, yeah. Look at the shock on this. I'm not sure what that is. I don't want that to, bing, get me in, get me in the face and that'd be a day, right? But something I do remember, when I used to drive truck, you had your airlines. I don't know how these trains operate, but these look like the glad hands. You snip them on, supply air. So I'm wondering if these trains don't have air brakes like the semis do. What's this right here? Whoa, talk about a plug. It's like a plug that you put on the trailers, you know, that you hook up at your house, the little seven prong one. That's a lot of prong. Let's see this, what does this do? The whole train starts moving, knowing my luck. Let's climb up here, guys. What the? Oh wow, check that out. Little seat right there. Wow, so this is your view from the top of the train right there. Then you got an actual train right there moving out. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> if I had to take a guess, I'm gonna say this is like a uh, little we used to call them yard dogs. It's just a little truck with a trailer and they're easy to move around, quick to hook up and you can, uh, yeah, use them in the yards. But check that out. Not much to it, so I think it's a little yard dog. But look at this, look at the jaws. Like, that's heavy duty right there. Again, another airline. Oh, this one moves. All right, yeah, I guess it off, on. So you supply your air like that. But this is cool right here. I don't know, I think it'd be cool to work for the railroad. Get to play around with big machines. And then check this bad boy out. I saw this right here. Flat car. I don't know. 
I don't know what this is for, what you use it for, but I mean, look how heavy duty everything is. Look how thick that is. Uh, a couple of cranes over there. Yeah, that's pretty badass. Yeah, it trips me out. Like, look at these leaf springs right here. Look at it. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a lot of leaf springs. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah, it would be fun to learn how to drive these or how they work and operate. And again, I mean, just look at this, guys. I think, yeah, here's another one of those air on air off things this is a shut off valve i think i don't know what that's for i don't know if you guys down the down if you guys know what that's for this bar right here this guy uh leave it down in the comments below thanks okay so a few minutes ago i showed you guys that like trailer prong or hookup for the electrical here's another one right here check this out so one there goes like that hooks up there I'm wondering like if they just didn't see like if you could just oh whoa 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 start breaking stuff but yeah that slides out real easy I just don't understand where it would hook up to when the other trailers I don't know interesting check out this big bad boy though look at her yeah oh that door's open i think that's the engine let's go cruise up there guys Ugh. oh man these railroad guys gotta be in shape climbing up and down like that all right let's check this out all right let's see oh it is that's a motor i don't know if you can see real good but yeah that's all a motor Holy smokes. I'm glad I'm not changing the oil on this thing. Let's uh let's go see what the drivers how they sat how it was. Again, I'm just surprised at how high up you are. Alright, here's a look inside the cab. I don't know if that's gonna show up or not. I'm gonna go look at one more guys. I'm gonna go look at the caboose. And then, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to go inside the museum. Like I said, I got a bunch of other stuff I gotta do, so yeah. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna do it. Might get in a little bit of trouble, but there's the bell, there's that. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere, I tell you. Oh, man. All right. Here's a caboose. I don't know. I don't think it'll let us go inside, but I'm just gonna walk up here and check it out. I don't think I got that wired shut. Wow. These things are like heavy, heavy duty. I knew they were heavy duty, just the amount of steel and the weight of these things plus you're also pulling a bunch of other steel and product you got to have one heck of a motor i don't know what size motors these are in here but yeah, they got to be massive all right guys i kind of found how they hook it up um they got this caboose that caboose yeah check it out here's that air handle again that one's solid hooked up there with the air goes to that look at these jaws when they hook up oh man that's how they keep them all locked in there together interesting stuff I'd like to learn more about this like talk with an actual railroad guy and be like hey how does this all work you know how do you know where everything's at and I guess my question is is if you're hooking up these together 
and one of these airlines comes apart but it comes apart like 55 cars back how do you know which car it is you know like or do you just have to walk and check each one like and it's cold snow and rainy out uh, that, that would be a long day right there trying to figure out where your air leaks at yeah because look at they all got them they got the air handles here's another one hmm well guys that's pretty much it for me here at this uh train museum got me out of the house for a little bit pretty cool spot but don't come here in the summertime you will melt anyways uh i'm gonna pack it up and i'm gonna start heading home now so yeah thanks for watching and uh stay dirty out there my friends